All right, here's my offset smoker that I never finished building, but I'm going to finish it. And today I'm going to be finishing up the, this, this door. The way I've been doing this so far is uh, taking eighth inch sheet metal and just cutting out a shape for the hinge and just weld it on. And using stainless bolts, just drill a 3 8 hole and put it in there. Okay, as far as this edge banding stuff goes, I have a piece of, it's either 18 or 20 gauge, I forgot. It's probably 20 gauge. I just cut out an inch strip and, and lap it over about halfway. I also skipped about an inch, like, you know, I'm welding an inch, skip an inch, you know, like off, you know, to keep the door from warping. Because if you weld a straight bead on it, it'll probably flatten it out a little bit. You could buy these wheels at Walmart. This is one of my favorite things for removing removing rust. Like go over it, go over it with this first because these are cheap. They last a long time. And I just want to start out with reminding everybody whenever you're using saws, grinders, and making dust, use the proper safety stuff like hair protection, respirator, gloves, and a face shield. You see, so now when you use the flat disc, you're not wearing this out as much because these are expensive. And look what I found. That pit that I'm making, it was an air compressor. I, I don't know how many gallons it was. It's, it's like about 16 inches wide to 30 inches long. And this is one of the handles, and I'm going to use that for my handle right here. Look how nice that fits. So I'm going to go ahead and clean up all my materials off camera. If you ever fall something like this, keep your knuckles away from it. It's very easy to cut yourself. That's why I have a nice long fall. I need a guard on it. That's what I really need. So I just stay away from it. That's why you see me. It probably looks dumb that I'm just sliding it straight. But that's to keep my knuckles away from doing that. I did kind of make a little bit of a mistake. I put the wheels all the way to the edge not thinking that about this part and then I made this an inch instead of inch and an eighth but that will be fine as well that would be perfectly fine 18 and 3 notches past a half inch 18 and 11 sixteenths I really feel dumb now because I measured this and I was supposed to have enough for both sides but I actually don't You know, it might be a little bit ugly, but I'll just, you know. What do you want? Pedro's being ignored. What's wrong? Is it raining outside? building a barbecue pit. Go away. All right, I got everything all clamped together in a position where I could weld kind of comfortably, I guess. Clean, I cleaned it all up, and I'm just going to start tacking it. All right, let's check my progress. I welded a few little short beads on the bottom just to kind of make sure it doesn't move. Hopefully it doesn't interfere with the edge of the of the main uh, chamber, whatever you call it. All right, I did already weld the top side and some mistakes were made. See, that was the bottom edge I burnt through too much. I was trying to be careful, but my machine was at 80 amps. I didn't realize it was so high. 
that was that bad fit part and I mean it's solid it's there but I kind of anyway the other weld started out kind of good and then it started getting hot I, it was burning my hands so I started messing up so now I already marked it with the square and uh, I'm just going to cut those off real quick and kind of Looks like the bottom edge is done. And it's ugly and uneven. I almost forgot about my handle. So I went ahead and cleaned it. It's still dirty, but it'll be alright. That's my center line. I'm just going to eyeball it. Put it like right here. That didn't work, I just burned a hole in it. Well, I started to burn another hole in it. And I burn another hole in it and dip my tungsten. This big cup is making it hard for me to get up in there. I have to have that much stick out. We got a little bit of a hole right here. Alright, I got it all welded up. It looks kind of crappy. The material is kind of dirty. I don't really clean it that good. Uh, whatever, it's just a barbecue pit. See, all the black color stuff, that's because I'm probably burning paint. I don't think that's going to come off. I'll be alright. Well, there it is. Uh, I think the, the bolts kind of holding up a little bit. I kind of need to mess with that. That's how it's going to look. Handle. Yeah, the handle's actually crooked. You can tell, but I don't really care. Like, that's, that's fine. I know I said I was going to do the, the door on the firebox, but I'm not going to get to that today. I'm going to go ahead and finish this up off camera. Basically the same thing I did, but, you know, do the top and do the rest of the other side of the handle. But, you know, uh, for people that are just barely, you know, thinking about building one, just go ahead and do it. Don't be scared. It's going to work. You know, if it leaks a little bit, it's still going to cook. Like if your smokestack is too small and it doesn't let enough air flow, then just cut it off and make a bigger one. Or add an extra one. Who, who cares? It doesn't really matter. It's going to work. And these these grills that I've made, I've only made three so far. And all of them out of air tanks. And they work pretty good. They're about 90 thousandths thick. 
so they're not super heavy. You know, this thing probably weighs, I don't know, it probably weighs 150 pounds or something, but you can definitely move it by yourself pretty easy. If you want to see more videos on this, just subscribe and, and uh, <clears throat> I'll be posting more videos on it soon whenever I feel like it. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe the end.